Hello everybody and welcome back, this is the Benjinator and you're watching Let's Play Xenogears, the greatest game on Earth, the last time Faye took a awful spill. We were basically trying to get, um... We are trying to stop Ramses and his pack of goonies from taking over uh, the, the, the ship known as the Tams. And of course Faye kind of overexerted himself and now he's essentially passed out. Hopefully he's going to be okay. But uh, it looks like folks from the Ethos have arrived to make uh, the situation a little bit easier. So we're going to go see them and see what's up. And now we get to control Ellie for the first time. Ah. Oh, darn it. People were looking for her gone. That's a shame. Maji's getting herself in trouble. Uh huh. Interesting. So, in case you guys are confused, Etone is essentially a uh, one of the people that work directly for the Ethos, and you'll figure out exactly what's going on pretty soon. There's a crisis. There's a crisis. Uh oh. This truck guy's trying to sell sell a little girl. That's not funny. Ellie, counting on you. Use your military training to. Make this person go away. Oy vey. <laughs> Losers. You're such a loser. Oh boy. Getting shot at. What's happening? Do 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 Some guy with a trench coat and a gun. An RPG cliche. What's up? Josiah? Who's Josiah? Mm hmm. I'll remember you. What are you doing? Is the guy gonna kill us? Don't move. Wait, we're not bad people. Oh, I see. Doesn't like Ellie because she's got the Solaris uniform. It's like, no! Oh, C-10. C-10 probably knows him. Because <laughs> he's just like, C-10 knows everybody. Everybody. <laughs> ah, Hugo. Yes, he knows his real name. Interesting. Oh, hello. Ellipses. Hmm. So I guess, I guess the uh, little girl can actually talk. That's pretty nifty. Ah, okay. Sorry, guys. Jesse! I know, Josiah sounds a lot cooler. I know people named Jesse. We're not nearly as cool as this dude. <laughs> she doesn't talk much. Oh, she uses uh, sign language. Oh. <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs> Ah, uh, that other kid. Aww. Poor Jesse. So it looks like this guy... I'm not sure what the deal with this guy is. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh, I guess I guess shops are hard to come by. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. So the E-tone was not Jesse, apparently. Interesting. Oh, I like this theme. It's a good one. Ah. Well, that guy's got a portrait, so obviously he's important. Din, 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 din. Oh, okay, so that's his other son. Oh, Billy! Billy's really cool. Billy is a very cool character. Even with his, like, goofy bangs. Ah. Shopping. What are you shopping for, Jesse? Ah. <laughs> Undesirable element. I love it. <laughs> well, clearly Jesse is not, uh... Him and his son don't exactly see eye to eye in a lot of things. <laughs> You're a stiff. 
Well. Yeah, this lady who, uh, unfortunately is a member of the Salarian Empire. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get ourselves in the ethos. Get Faye back on his feet. Ah. So what's the difference between a priest and an etone? Well, there is an important difference, which we'll find out pretty soon. Ah. We're gonna go to a new place. But I like the Tams. The Tams is fun. Got some good shit on there. Mm-hmm. Very different, Margie. You have no idea how different. Mm-hmm. Marguerite. At least Billy's a really, really nice dude. Uh-huh. She's the mystical mother, Marguerite. Relax. <sighs> oh, Bart. Bat. <laughs> Speak a little bit more politely. Bart is never going to do that. Bart is about as crude as you get. He's got his, uh... Well, he's got his... Bart missiles and his... His eye patch. Of course he's going to be rude. That's just what Bart does. Ah. The brat house. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Billy was going to say something sassy back. Oh, well. That's a shame. Darn. Huga. Hmm. Yeah, who knows about when this guy is going to show up again. Bye, ladies. See you later. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, yeah. So is that? I guess I guess the uh, the Yggdrasil got really beat up, apparently, or at least it got got damaged somewhat. We gotta take care. Yes, yes, Bart. We absolutely do. <laughs> you are correct, sir. All right, yeah, Ellie's leading the pack now. I don't know, I mean, it, I guess it kind of makes sense. If you think of Ellie as almost like the heroine of this game, it's kind of a kind of a thing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if there's any new gear stuff, and then we're going to head to the Yggdrasil. So I'll see you guys there. All right, y'all. Looks like uh, we're all set as far as gear equipment goes. No, nothing new under the sun there. So now we get to move around in the Yggdrasil again. Ah, maybe not. Okay, so we'll we'll talk to uh, uh let's let's actually talk to Margie right now. Might as well. I believe that this is something that's not super duper important because you know obviously if it was super duper important, Siggy wouldn't let us uh, launch. But it's this this is definitely something to at least handle a little bit. So, uh, Margie's room is... Where is it? I think it's over here. Could be wrong. Oh, there it is. Hey, Margie, what's up? Uh-huh. Ah. You can be a manager. Oh, okay, so yeah, she can... She can change out party members. Let's do that. I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. So you can't... You can't have Ellie as uh, somebody outside the party, but I think that, um, yeah, th this is actually pretty good for now. I don't mind that. I think, R I mean, Rico obviously is a friggin' house and a very, very good character to have, but I still kind of want to build up Ellie and, you know, c and Bart are definitely good to have around, so we're going to stick with them for right now, I think. But now we're going to get to launch... The Yggdrasil, we get to go to a new location, a new, and launch in, ourselves into a new era. Well, well kind of, we're, we're going to the main church 
establishment in this game in their HQ. We've already seen we already seen a little bit of the ethos from previously, but now we're going to where they actually are located. So let's get out of the Tams. Yay, Yggdrasil too. Ah. Unfortunately, folks, uh, it's not that much different. It's it's not. There's not like a huge. Uh, I personally don't find that there's a <laughs> there's a major switch between this and the uh, the other thing. But as you can see, you do fight in the middle of the ocean, which can be kind of a pain. So thankfully, we're all uh, <laughs> we're all uh, geared up, and these guys airwalks hardly do any damage. But let's let's kick their ass, shall we? So Ellie has been doing pretty well lately. Look at that, ba boom, in the face. And see Dan Uzuki, he's gonna he's gonna take care of that. We've got to use the Heimdall in a while. Woo! All right, now Bart. Bart's looking pretty mighty over here. I do miss our friend the Welltall though. Nothing can c quite compete with uh, Phase Gear, Phase whole thing. We're gonna do a double impact. We're gonna send the Airwalk to death, and there he goes. Oh yeah. All right, sweet. So. Yeah, the enemies, do, the, the enemies that you fight here do not really get that much more uh, difficult, which is kind of cool. Very cool indeed. Alright, so, as you can see, we have, if you hit the select button, it tells you where to go. And, um, you have these little lights here that will, that will indicate different places. And so, this over here is the Tower of Babel. We're not going to worry about that either. And, uh, as you can see, the little light uh, down to your lower... Uh, basically the south southeast yeah southeast is going to be um, an orphanage which we're not going to worry about right this second we're going to head right towards the ethos HQ which will be over here so unfortunately with this little sand cruiser this little Yggdrasil 2 the only place that you can dock is on a beach so these rocks are going to prevent us from doing so and this will lead us to up here so yep you just put the circle button and voila, here we go. Alright guys, so we've landed at the Ethos headquarters. What kind of craziness are we going to, encounter, going, to get, going to encounter inside the Catholic Church itself? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears. This is the Benjamin here, and thank you guys for watching.